Hey, hey, hey everyone, my name is Nolder, welcome back to another Pixel Gun 3D weapon review video. And yesterday we got a new tr community traders van, I just reviewed the explosive caramels, so just so you know this video, I will not be doing this one just because I made a full review and damage test on it, link to that will be down in the description. But yeah, I would like to do a full community van damage test slash review if I have time, I'm assuming I'll have time to like use the weapons in actual gameplay, but there's still a weapon I haven't got. The Goo Substance Scythe. Alright, this is another 400 gems gone down the drain. And then my gems will be at zero, or not zero. They'll just be close to zero, though. So you guys better hit that like button, and you better subscribe, okay? Especially if you enjoy. Because I will make more Pixel Gun reviews, and so you just gotta do it. You gotta subscribe. You gotta turn on notifications, okay? So, yeah, I'm buying it right now. I don't want to do this, especially because the weapon's so toxic and nobody even likes it. Uh, I just got it, though. So, yeah. Here is the complete community traders man. We got the Undertaker, which literally is just a shotgun, nothing too special about it. The Auroboros, which is a single shot burning backup, and it does damage when reloading. You can see like it shoots like a huge fire sphere around you. Goose Substance Scythe has area damage, it's a melee, and it poisons people. I heard that the range on this weapon is astronomical, and it's really overpowered. Cyclops Sling, I made a review on this too, so I won't be using this one a whole lot. I will still do the damage test and everything, but if you want a full review on this weapon, link to that will be down in the description. It's got rockets, airy damage, and bleeding. Of course, Explosive Caramel I just did yesterday. It's got airy damage, it slows the target, and the kill target explodes. Submarine Drone Station, it's got airy damage, it has an enemy detector, which I will show you. I don't think I can show you right now. Oh yeah, you can actually see it right there, that little radar. People will appear on that, and that's pretty cool. And it has a random effect. So, shoutouts for this video go to Megumin. Eh, I don't know if that's how you say your name, whatever. Funky Monkey and Reginald for finding the keyword in the last video. If you guys want a shout out, stick around and I will give you a keyword to go comment down in the comment section. Alright, and with all that being said, let's jump right into the damage test. For this damage test, I'm joined by Eric and. I, I don't even know that, that that name has such a weird font, but it's Untrue. Pla I don't even know how to say that name, Platoop, <laughs> whatever, whatever it is. But yeah, this guy, Eric, he has legendary armor and uh, Platoop or whatever. I, 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 don't wanna, I don't even know if that's how you say your name, but he's got mythical. Uh, I don't even know if it's developer, but he's got mythical armor. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm just going to hit both of these people in the body and they're going to tell me how much damage they do. So first is a body shot and then a body shot. All right, so with Eric, the legendary armor brought him down to 128 and the mythical was 145 so obviously it does more damage to legendary and stuff like that uh but now i'm gonna move on to headshots all right so now i'm just gonna hit him both in the head boom boom all right so the legendary brought him down to 99 hp and the mythical brought him down to 12 percent health or shield and then full health and obviously i did a headshot from point blank range so the damage is always going to be changing with the shotgun Alright, so now once they make their way up here, I have level 6 energy modules on, just so you know. So now I'm going to do a test with modules. So let's do body shots first, just like that. So the mythical was at 37% shield and full health, and the legendary was at 27 shield and full health. So now let's move on to headshots. Okay, so now let's move on to headshots. I'm just going to hit both of them in the head. So let's just go boom and boom. Yeah, I'm not really expecting this weapon to one-shot headshot at all because, look, it's got a pretty pretty big fire rate. So the Mythical was actually able to bring him down to 87% health, and the Legendary was 67. So honestly, for a weapon that fires this quick, that's actually pretty good. It's like a two-shot headshot, uh, th even a two-shot body shot. I mean, actually, I want to test that really quick. Let's just, let's just test that really quick. Is it a two-shot body shot this close? Okay, so no, it's a three-shot, but maybe... Yeah, no, okay, three shot body shot, two shot headshot. So that's pretty good. Uh, now let's move on to the hour of Boris. All right, so first we're going to do body shots. Boom and boom. And also we got burning, so I mean, you're going to do more damage over time with the burning effect. So that's pretty good at least. Maybe they're going to wait for me to like the burning to stop to like actually tell me how much damage they did because that'd be cool because obviously burning is going to do more damage. So one shot was able to bring the mythical down to 56 shield after burn. And the 27, or the legendary was able to bring him down to 27. Yeah, after burn. <laughs> okay, cool. Wow, they're very good at communicating to me. And yeah, for a fire, for a weapon that fires this quick, I gotta say, that's actually like pretty good, even without modules. All right, so now we're going to move on to headshots. You guys are a bit close there. In fact, I probably end up hitting both of you at the same time. You might want to 
there, there we go. All right, cool. Headshot and then headshot. Yeah, this this weapon, this weapon's like rocket thingy or whatever it is, has a pretty big hitbox. Oh no, there's only eight seconds left. Can you guys type type quick what it, what it was? Headshot. Hurry, come on. Uh, left me at 31. Oh, a 31 shield, and then I don't know what that uh, shield was for the legendary headshot. I'll put it on the screen now, though, just so you guys can see that. All right, now let's put some modules on and see how well it does. All right, so I'm going to go with the level 7 magic module, a bit higher. I'm sure a lot of you have it that high, though. I'm, my modules are just really low. So let's do body shot. Boom and boom. Okay, so the body shot was able to bring the legendary down to 32 armor, and the mythical was able to bring him down to 49 with a little bit of healing in there. But also, that's like just as good as the Undertaker, I'm pretty sure, or like around the same. So I mean, that's really good. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that's, I, I gotta say, uh, our Boris, really good backup. All right, so now we're going to do headshots. Ready? Boom, headshot and I don't even know if you can hit headshots with this weapon. I'm just going to assume you can, even though it's weird. Okay, so yeah, you can hit headshots because that is doing more damage. It brought him down to 28 shield, and that stayed at 32. I am i don't think I hit you in the head. All right, look, we're going to try you again. All right, so yeah, that did more damage. That brought him down to 11 armor. All right, cool. So that's that's a pretty good. Um, this weapon, it's like a two... Or actually, let's let's test that really quick. I did not mean to do damage there. Guys, come back up here because I want to I wanna, like see how many shots it takes. Uh-oh, someone, someone joined. I don't want them in. All right, so that was a very interesting interruption there we have. Hopefully, Eric comes up really quick. I'm just going to try mythical armor. Okay, and legendary armor. Let's see how many shots it takes. So it's a... One, two, three, four, four shot body shot, and then one, two, three, three shot uh, body shot with the legendary. So four shot with mythical. Let's see how many headshots really quick. Not moving. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. So it's just gonna be like one less, right? One, two. Okay, so it's the same. So with mythical and legendary, it's the same for headshots. It's three shot, and body shot is four shot with mythical and three shot with legendary. So that's yeah, right? Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. Let's move on to goose substance dive. All right, so we're going to do body shots for the Goose Substance Scythe. Let's do whack and then whack. I, I hope that that actually hit them in the body, and I forgot that this poisons. Yeah, all right, cool. So one shot with the Mythical was able to bring him down to 22% shield, and then one shot for the Legendary was... Oh, post, post poison was 3%, so that's almost a two shot. Oh, I accidentally killed him. <laughs> Whoops, but the Legendary was actually... A lot more I brought him down to 69 health wow what that's an interesting number I did not mean to kill you I'm sorry all right let's see if I can do headshots this will be very interesting boom and boom I killed them both guys you're gonna have to spread out <laughs> you're gonna have to spread out okay so I now know I now know why this weapon is so overpowered because it has a, a huge area damage okay let's do headshots now boom and Boom. I'm going to assume that that was a headshot. I aimed literally all the way up in the sky. So if it's the same damage, then we just know. Can't hit headshots. Headshots. <sighs> With this weapon. Okay. Post poison was 47. That's different than last time. In fact, 37. Yeah, that's, that's still more for some reason. So I'm just kind of going to assume you can't hit headshots. And yeah, that was exactly the same. So yeah, no headshots. Let's put some modules on. Oh, and then right there I hit headshots. Okay, interesting. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, I don't know. This weapon's weird. I think you might have to be like above them or whatever. I'll, I'll just try it with modules, but we're gonna do body shot and then body shot. There's no way that that was a headshot. All right, there's no way. It's got to be body shot. By the way, my modules are level seven magic modules, so that barely changed. It brought him down to 66 HP, and then what was yours, bro? What was yours, bro? So that brought him down to 22% shield, and I think that was like with without poison. I think maybe it was more with poison. Yeah, with poison, it brought him down to 92% health. So that's pretty darn good, I'm not going to lie. And yes, you are doing good. This this person, I don't know who to call you. I'm just going to call you Platoop, and I'm going to assume that's how you say your name right. He's in voice chat with me, so you can hear me. Yes, you're doing splendid. All right, let's gonna, let, we're going to move on to the Cyclops sling now. Guys, yes, I know I suck at commentating, but whatever at least i do voice on like half the pixel gun youtubers all right let's do let's do a body shot ready boom and boom and what's cool about this weapon is like you can actually three cow with it it's a bit hard though actually let me see if i can like wow i i'm just so bad i can't do it right shot and then switch and shot there's a bit of delay in between shots um and also it has travel time are they gonna are they gonna tell me what 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 i brought them down to with bleeding of course hopefully so post post bleeding brought him down to 17% shield 
and then what was yours uh so one one percent shield all right cool so that's really good all right i'm gonna i'm gonna try headshots now all right so now we're gonna do headshots i think that these are a bit weird you kind of have to like shoot up and like try and get the thing to hit their head and again just like the hour of boris this has a really really big hitbox so you really have to aim high in order to hit headshots but hopefully they're gonna tell me here how much damage i did so with a headshot the mythical was 89 uh after bleeding health 89 health and then 57 health for the legendary and that that's really good if you get someone who's lower level than you or has like wooden armor or something that's probably going to like one shot which is really good so now we're moving on to legendary or not legendary <sighs> we're moving on to modules and mine is level seven energy so let's do a body shot for each person so after the bleeding for the body shot he was at 58 percent health and you were 90 percent health that's really good one shot was able to break their shield completely all right let's do headshots now way over headshot and then headshot okay cool all right i hit those shots hopefully hopefully it's different and i actually did hit the headshots because this game doesn't tell you when you hit headshots for some reason oh my gosh i one shot him i one shot headshot him that's pretty darn good and you were down to 38 percent health so that's pretty good i was able to actually one shot him with freaking energy module okay that's really good all right we're gonna move on to the submarine drone station all right guys so now you can see with the submarine drone station there's like that little radar that's around the crosshairs area and you can see that it actually picks up people those green dots are these people right here so that's what the is it enemy detector is that what it's called yeah enemy detector so that's what that is right there so now we're going to like actually test this really quick we're gonna see i don't think that this weapon can hit headshots i just i just gonna um I just I'm just gonna make sure that this weapon doesn't hit headshots when I get the kill here yeah okay no headshots okay so we're gonna test we're gonna test here what this what the damage is so I'm gonna hit you once and it's gonna give you a random effect all right so you're gonna have to tell me what your health was brought down to and then I'm gonna hit you and hopefully that area damage didn't carry over to him it doesn't look like it did so one shot was able to bring him down to 49 percent health and then his was 77 percent health so that is really good especially because this weapon has a pretty high fire rate okay so let's move on to modules i have level 7 magic modules these guys hopefully are not too close i'm just gonna hit you direct hit there and then boom direct hit there all right let's see how much damage that does see i don't think i directly hit that so we're gonna have to try him again but what was yours at 28 percent health dang that's pretty good so that means maybe i can actually one shot you hopefully just depending on how good the burning bleeding and poison is oh you can you can one shot legendary armor with this weapon bro that's really good all right cool so that just wraps up the damage test here again thanks to these people for helping me out with this damage test it was a pretty long one i'm not gonna lie so again i really appreciate that these people are helping me if you guys want to be part of the damage test and you have like mythical armor especially be sure to join the discord that's pretty much the only way you're going to be involved in these damage tests and yeah let's just jump into some regular matches because i'm pretty sure we have time so keyword is going to be tired literally just because i'm tired and i won't be surprised if you guys are not watching by this point okay guys just because i don't know how long this video is going to be i'm just going to play one match with these modules on these weapons here i'm going to do i'm just going to show you guys how these weapons perform in actual lobbies let's see if i can get some kills here with the hour boars i was able to get one but not more oh actually got a burning kill i'm assuming i don't know how that person died but i want to see goose substance scythe yeah you can basically just slash you hash singing slinging slasher <laughs> hash slinging slasher that that's the name of the that's the name of the character from spongebob that has like the hook arm but yeah i i can't get any kills here you can basically just sling around slash people down with this weapon you really don't have to aim at all because like i showed in the damage chest this weapon has a really really huge like area slingy and why am i getting so many notifications right now all right boom i did explosive caramel or actually i skipped cyclops sling let's do cyclops cyclops sling first I, guys i can't talk i'm so bad at it but yeah we're gonna do this one first just so i can get kills there we go there's a kill yep i'm gonna be hopefully shredding this lobby and what's up meme master you're I'm, i don't want to talk like stop and chat because I'm very limited on time here okay i don't want this video to go too long i want it to be kind of quicker it's just a tam damage chest and then a short review just like this and yeah cyclops sling shreds lobbies go check out my review on that again and also explosive caramel will be linked down in the description too i don't know how that wasn't my kill there because this weapon one shot headshots so yeah boom oh okay well that that was a body shot don't worry it was it wasn't a headshot but if i could hit them in the head then i can actually do oh i also i turned off aim assist bro 
how can I play Pixel Gun without aim assist? Okay, I used to trash talk aim assist, but now it's like it's so overpowered that if you don't use it, you're kind of you're at a huge disadvantage. So you might as well just use aim assist. Yeah, it's really good. You guys can see the enemy tech enemy detector is in play. Ooh, did I get that kill? No, I didn't. The enemy detector is in play right now. So basically, yeah, I can see where people are. Someone is right next to me right now. Boom! Come on! Dang it! You gotta be just let me let me get kills. Oh my gosh, I'm getting spammed now. First, I got, like, screen recording, then Clash of Clans, and now Discord. I'm getting spammed with notifications. But, yeah, this trader's van is probably one of the best traders. I mean, it's not the best trader's van ever, but it's so good. The weapons in it are all really good. I recommend getting every single one. Undertaker's good, especially for 3-cat. This one, our Boris, the backup, is really good for, like, getting kills and stuff like that if you can actually hit your shot. I mean, it's not really good, but for a legendary backup, it's pretty darn good, just like that. Also, it's really good in mage mode, so yeah, highly recommend getting this. Goose Substance Scythe, it's very toxic, no one likes it, but it's really good. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're looking for a good spammy noob weapon, this is definitely it right here. Let's see if I can get this long range kill here. Boom, there we go. Cyclops Sling, really good, really good for 3 cat 2, and it's got really good damage. You can pretty much hit people across the map once you get used to, like, actually hitting people with it. Explosive Caramel. Really good. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend this sniper. Definitely get your hands on Explosive Caramel. Go check out my review for that. And then finally, drum, just Drone Submarine Station. This one's good. It's not the best. I mean, it's got fixed delay, so you can't really ask for a like, super, super overpowered heavy. But yeah, it's still pretty good for a heavy. And guys, I'm going to wrap the video up there. So again, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Consider subscribing. It really does help me out. Also, thanks to Eric and Platoop for helping me with the damage test in this video. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord server. And with all that being said, you thought I was going to say I will see you in the next video. Peace. Now, we're going to open We're gonna open a veteran's chest. Let's see what I can get. Hopefully, parts for the sentence. I really want the sentence sniper. All right, we got 38 coins, 12 gems. And then what am I going to get? Sentence no no i don't want the heavy i want the sentence all right now with all that being said i will see you all in the next video peace